In this screencast, we're going to attempt to answer these uh, three initial questions. What is bioinformatics? Why uh, you should uh, learn bioinformatics and be keen to improve your bioinformatics knowledge. And finally, what specifically will you learn from uh, taking this course? So first up, what does bioinformatics mean to you? Well, hopefully you have some idea of bioinformatics. You know, there's the bio, and there's the informatics, two parts of the word. Uh, but as you'll find out uh, in the coming weeks, and we'll discuss uh, that bioinformatics can actually mean different things to uh, different people, we will uh, cover some of the most widely uh, used and widely accepted definitions uh, from simple ones like, like this one, through to more extensive definitions that also spell out uh, core approaches and major application areas. Now, what we really uh, mean here with bioinformatics is the application of computers to the collection, archiving, organization, and critically, the analysis of biological data. Now, for the purposes of our introductory uh, online course here, where we will take a much more hands-on approach to learning bioinformatics, I'll encourage you to think of bioinformatics as the process of extracting novel, actionable biological knowledge from large-scale biomolecular and biomedical uh, data sets. And I like this uh, definition because it really emphasizes that bioinformatics is this hybrid of biology and computer science. Or even more simply, at its core, it's very useful to think at these early stages of bioinformatics as computer-aided biology. Okay, And this uh, really brings home the idea that bioinformatics, what it really aims to do is it aims to bridge this gap between the data and the knowledge. Now, it's important to uh, remember in this respect that bioinformatics is neither tied to a particular uh, data type, that means you know, a particular experimental method like genomics, for example. It's not just genomics, or nor a particular biological application like sequencing. It's not just the analysis of sequencing data. Indeed, the data may come from any of today's multitude of bioanalytical methods, such as sequencing, of course, high throughput sequencing, but also nuclear magnetic resonance or cryo EM imaging or mass spectrometry or medical imaging. And the knowledge sought can be as varied as you know, identifying new disease biomarkers, characterizing phylogenetic and evolutionary relationships of important biomolecules, obtaining you know, quantitative structure activity relationship data for important biomolecules or drug targets, or uh, helping to design new novel inhibitors for emerging uh, diseases or disease areas or, 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 or uh, biomedical uh, information that we try to analyze and, and get, get hold of. Okay, So uh, in this respect too, uh, we're going to go on to our next question, which is you know, why should uh, you want to learn bioinformatics? In other words, you know, why this course? Well, so this course is, you know, I designed this course uh, to be an introduction to about a hands-on practical introduction really to major bioinformatics concepts and resources. It covers modern hot topics and the intimate coupling of, uh, of informatics with biology. So here I'm really trying to highlight the impact of uh, genomics especially, but also big data in other fields on science and society. Now it's designed for you. It's designed for biology majors. There's no pre-programming requirement or programming knowledge or advanced level math required. Uh, and we're going to introduce those skills to you throughout this course as we need them. Now, it is designed to provide this hook. That's my intention, to give you a hook to increase the computational and data science kind of competencies in the biosciences here at UCSD. And really, these are valuable, high demand transitional skills that will set you apart. Now, if I think, uh, you know, back in, in my lab, you know, one of my most successful graduate students, a bioinformatics student uh, studying uh, protein structure and uh, small molecule interactions for drug discovery, drug design kind of applications. What they do now is they work for Walmart. Now, that might sound, uh, might sound strange, but they're not stacking shelves, they're not uh, on the cash register or, or, or checking people out, they're actually looking after the logistics, the whole supply chain that covers the entire country. And they're using advanced statistical modeling and techniques that they learned 
during their PhD, which was applied, of course, to drug design and drug discovery and prioritization of drug targets. But now it's for prioritization of which products should be placed in which shops at which times uh, to, to supply customer demand. And of course, these, what, what I'm trying to highlight here is, you know, this smart individual have these very uh, marketable translational skills that are in demand throughout uh, modern industry. Okay, so this is really a hook uh, for these increasing these competencies, these valuable high demand uh, translational skills that can be applied in many different fields, not just in biology, which of course is our motivation for, for this course, the biological uh, insight that we want to bring via this application of computational approaches. So finally, uh, we come to our last question for, for this video. What uh, you know, what are the essential concepts and skills that you should obtain for this course? Or put it other, another way, what are our, our learning goals for this course? Now, the four major ones uh, are listed here. You'll find these on our website as well, of course. They include you know, understanding the increasing necessity for computation in modern life science research. We're at a point in the biological sciences where our data is so large and so complicated and often so heterogeneous that there's often no other way to analyze the data, certainly no better way sometimes than uh, the use and the application of computational approaches. We want you to be able to understand and to evaluate online bioinformatics resources and analysis tools to solve driving biological problems in, in, in science and in biological science and biomedical science. We want you to uh, learn both Unix and R fundamentals. These are some of the most important tools of bioinformatics trade, and I believe they're enormously beneficial to you for your future for future research. And then finally, the, the, the major objectives here to make you familiar with uh, the fields of genomics, gen genome informatics, transcriptomics, and structural informatics, and how we uh, apply bioinformatics to really support those research areas. We actually also have uh, much more fine-grained uh, learning objectives associated with each of these major uh, areas. Here they're spelled out on our course website. There's around 20 of them. And they really spell out in great detail what you will be learning in each week of this course. They're the things that you'll need to know and be able to use and apply uh, to be successful in this course, but in also with bioinformatics in your own research. Again, this is a very hands-on, very practical, skill-based approach to learning uh, bioinformatics. So with that, uh, we'll finish up with this particular video. And again, we uh, welcome your comments, your questions, particularly in uh, our interactive office hours each week, and also in our online uh, forum. We'll uh, see you in our next video, and I'll just uh, read out the short uh, synopsis of our learning goals. It's that students, that's you, will develop this solid foundational knowledge of bioinformatics and be able to evaluate new biomolecular and genomic information using existing bioinformatics tools and resources. So here we're not uh, developing new bioinformatics methods, new software tools, for example, but we are applying existing methods, existing tools in new ways to, to get new biological insight out of them. So putting these things together to have an innovative uh, approach to answering these biological problems that are driving our uh, insight and our motivation to study these things in the first place. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.